Moscow Mitch says that he is the Grim Reaper. Imagine describing yourself as the Grim Reaper, that he's going to bury all this legislation. Well, we have news for him. All of this legislation is live and well in the general public. So that from Illinois yesterday, the House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, she went there taking a swipe at the Senate Majority Leader for blocking election security legislation in the Senate. Want to bring in Guy Benson, townhall.com political editor, host of the Guy Benson Show and a Fox News contributor. So she went there. Moscow Mitch, Guy. Yeah, she did. It's unbecoming, but it's also unsurprising, given the direction of the Democratic Party these days. McConnell gave a whole speech, very fiery by his standards, a few weeks ago, defending his own record spanning decades on Russia. I think people should go watch it. Uh, I do find it interesting on two levels that Pelosi would, as you say, go there. Number one, Democrats for years have recoiled angrily at even the faintest whisper about their own patriotism. And yet they spent the last two years calling the president of the United States a Russian asset without evidence. Now they're going the same route with Mitch McConnell. And then secondly, I think what we know about what the Russians have been trying to do in this country is to sow division and sow fear and divide our country against itself. So you could argue, using the standards that Pelosi seems to be doing demagogically, that she, in fact, is taking her marching orders from the Kremlin, doing exactly what Vladimir Putin would want. And maybe we can call her Natalia Pelosi. I don't know. <laughs> maybe you coined something. Back in the end of July, Mitch McConnell said the following, modern-day McCarthyism, he said. He said it's toxic and damaging because of the way it warps our entire public discourse. I, I believe the election votes in the House did not get a single Republican to, to vote for them, and that was the hesitation that was explained on the Senate side. Meanwhile, yep. two members of the squad may go to Israel this week and may not. Kevin McCarthy was with Brett last night and said this. There's a number of Democrats that still stand with Israel, but this new social, socialist Democrat group is, uh, has a much different belief. One thing that should have happened, they should have come with their colleagues. They should have come together where they can have a meeting with Israel, with the Palestinian Authority, with those who were running against Bibi at the same time. You would get every view that you wanted to see. So here's the deal. Tlaib and Omar, the two freshmen, two of the freshman congresswomen, they, they want to go to Israel. Uh, I'm not sure that Netanyahu is inclined to allow them into the country. I believe about a week ago the president said he would support blocking their entrance. What comes of this guy? Today? I think, Bill, I think it would be short sighted and political for Israel to deny them access. They are, after all, duly elected members of Congress. Uh, I do agree with the criticism that they could have just gone with their colleagues and gotten a variety of views about Israel. They're choosing to go a different direction. I don't think that's surprising. Now, they both do have very serious anti-Semitism problems, as evidenced by their own rhetoric and their associations. And the one argument that you could make, I think, on the other side of this, if you're Netanyahu, literally just a few weeks ago, both of them voted specifically to boycott Israel. I think step one of a boycott don't go to Israel, right? And BDS, this movement, which is radical that they both support, it has been called hateful and dangerous by the aforementioned Nancy Pelosi, anti-Semitic by Chuck Schumer. So I do see arguments on both sides. Overall, I think Israel will play into the hands of the victimhood politics, the grievance politics of these two ladies, should they decide to close the door. So our bureau in Jerusalem reached out to the Israeli government. Here's the quote we got about an hour ago, Guy. If Congresswoman Tlaib makes a humanitarian request to visit her family, the decision on that matter will be considered favorably, end quote. So in all likelihood, if she wants to go, it'll happen. The Israeli government will block it. We'll watch it and see what comes of it. Intriguing nonetheless. Guy, great to have you back today. Guy Benson you in bet. Washington, D.C. Thanks.